Good evening, peeps. How are you doing? How's it going? How's it going? Uh, hey, Nadine. Hey, Han. Han, just no. Hey, Elephant. Hey, Lindsay. How is it going? Spoopy. 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 This is a week of spoopy. It's the spoopy week, right? <laughs> so we're going to do something I don't usually do. Um, hang on a minute, one second. Just make sure I've got this set up. Yeah, I thought I'd just bugged it up. One second. Uh, right. Let's see if I can get this to work. So we're going to be doing, basically we're going to be doing like a little spoopy build. Uh, that's the plan. So uh, we're going to be doing, we're going to be trying to do this. Uh, hang on, can I make it bigger? There we go, there's a bigger version. <laughs> it's a bigger version. Let's get rid of that one. Uh, so we're going to be trying to like make this, basically. This is kind of the inspiration. Uh, probably over two streams this week. <clears throat> Um, I shall see. We shall see how I get on. <laughs> we shall see how I get on. It might be an unrealistic expectation. Uh, so yeah, we shall see. I might. I've start. I did start messing about. Basically, the idea is I need to. I need to kind of get a bit better at some of my architectural work. Um, so I thought I'd just do a bit of. In Bit of experimentation so that's what we're going to go for um i am trying to i'm doing this as basically hey daniel how you doing bud i'm using this as a bit of an excuse um because i'm trying to i've actually got to make a house or make a building uh for tig will do so i thought we'd just kind of go with this uh so yeah i'm going to keep that picture up there in the top corner uh, and I've got it on my other screen, so obviously none of this is anywhere near right, but I was just kind of playing around. So, I think we're going to start, we're going to try and start with like this, I don't know if, can, can you see that? I don't think you can see my cursor, can you? Can you see my cursor? Mm, you probably can't see my cursor over the thing. Hold on, let's see if I can do this. So we're going to, we're going to start, I think, with this section i think there's like two well there's like three sections well maybe there's four but there's like a big bit going across the back there um there's this big tower and then there's this set this section here so i think we'll try and just like get it roughly worked out um and then we'll take it from there but we shall see <laughs> we shall see how i get on as i said this is not something i usually do particularly but um, it's something I'd quite like to get better at in the game. So I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of roughly try to get it like sketched out using normal build pieces. Uh, and then we'll layer on it from there. So if we try and just get like a rough, a rough layout of it done, I think that would be the key. So it doesn't really matter what I'm using at this at this point. Do 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 do. So we've got I think we've got like a big main bit of the building. I think the thing that's going to be my challenge is getting the scaling right. Uh, I looked at a bunch of different houses, and this was so I looked at there's like a. The Haunted Mansion from Disney or something. Um, but it was a bit boring looking. It looks it doesn't look very spooky. It looks like a it just kinda looks like a you know, it reminded me a little bit the Haunted Mansion from Disney. Disney World, I think. Uh reminded me a bit of like the town hall in, in Back to the Future for some reason. Yeah, see, I think that's probably too big already. Needs to get better, lies my good sir. Well, architecture is not something I'm, I feel particularly confident in. I'm alright, I'm like, I know there's things that I'm I'm alright at in the game, but 
there's people that are really really good at kind of building buildings getting sort of fantasy looking buildings going and it's something i definitely like to improve on but we shall see i think i know the basics of how to do it i've just got to got to execute I think the key, actually, do you know what? The key to the scaling is going to be, it's going to be the roof pieces. This is going to be how we have to scale it all. So actually, this is going to be too small. So it doesn't really matter, like how big I'm doing this. To be fair, I'm not trying to do it for any purpose other than it just kind of looking fun. So um, I'm not going to make it. Not going to obsess over it too much it looking realistic in terms of the scale of the rest of the place but we shall see might be it might be better to stick with some Let's just have a look what does a door what's the sort of scale of a door yeah so that's already an eight meter wall so that's mad <laughs> hmm okay let's go with one of these uh, let's um, stay on that grid. Yes, yeah, so I thought I'd just mess about with this a bit. It seems like the already the, the gloss of the new DLC has started to wear off already, which is always a bit of a shame. It always happens. It always feels like it happens so quickly. There's like a, and it's really sort of a bit sad that it's always like, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like it's just every, every DLC is slightly quicker. That everybody starts to kind of lose their their juju with it. It's literally like you see a massive kind of ups upscale of like activity and excitement about the game and all that sort of thing. And then literally like two weeks later, it's gone back to all being a bit all being a bit nothingy. Eh? Sat here betting myself whether you'll get this finished over two streams. I very, very much doubt it, Lindsay. <laughs> you know me so well. But it's all right. We can get, if we can get something kind of, get something kind of going. I'm trying to think what's my best sort of jumping off point for us, for something to scale it by. See, I think that's, I don't think that's actually steep enough. It's probably all right. So, and, and none of these build pieces I'm using are, yeah, oh, actually, what we're going to use. It's no, it's odd, odd, odds on favourite, yeah, 100% agree. Um, so, let's just... So, I'm trying to just get kind of roughly it. Maybe let's make this tower separately. In fact, we could do that, couldn't we? So that tower, hold on, let's just pull this up. Yeah, this is a good way of doing it. Right, so that tower is, what would you say, a quarter of the width of the front of the building? And that's about a third, maybe? So if you divide the building up into three pieces across the front, I'd say that is probably one third. Maybe that's kind of another third, and then there's another third here. I think that's maybe what we'll do. Trying to keep flicking that thing on and off, it's going to be annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we just got something progressed on it, would be kind of cool. I wanted to kind of, I wanted to get this recording as well, but because I never remember to do that when I'm streaming. Mister Start. So is this build being done? On the house of a stream as well. No. <laughs> How would that work? <laughs> how would that work, dude? <laughs> no. <laughs> how would I? How would I achieve such things? Build the same building in both. That would be pretty badass, but but no. If that was an option, I'd kind of like that as a cool idea. But no, that's not a. That's not a thing. So I'm going to say three, so that's another three, so actually it should be more, like, 
that. Is that right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, like, no, there's a different thing happening. I can't, I'm not really allowed to say so, but yes, trust, trust me. It was moved for a reason. Oh yeah, yeah, PZ streams on Saturday because there's no vid this week. Basically. Do do. Yeah, I've already said too much, haven't I? <laughs> I've already said too much. Uh, let's go with... I don't want to be on the same grid as that. How very mysterious. Bum, bum, bum. Isn't there one of these that's... Re yeah, okay, cool. Let's just do that. Again, I'm not using any of this material. Hey, Lisa. No worries. So, is that kind of roughly... Yeah, so the people that I think of immediately that are like masterful at architecture in this game, really, and this is absolutely the sort of thing that uh, he would probably be building is Estan, Estan Wolf. He's got, he's a real natural gift to just kind of like make fantasy looking builds. It's going to take forever. It won't take as long as you think it will. Uh, you'll be surprised. <laughs> you'll be surprised. It's suddenly all going to spring to life. So once I've got once I've got roughly the shape that I'm working to, then I'll obviously start to detail it. See, I don't think that's too bad. I think maybe that's a bit still a bit low. Maybe like another layer up do, 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 do. and I've got it on a got it on a separate grid so I can play around with that a little bit more so I can got a bit more freedom to kind of move that around and then that's a really steep roof as well but we've got another roof that's playing that's like running across the back. Let's build a nice bonus on. Let's build a nice house on Hitman 3. You can build houses in Hitman 3. I don't know if I've ever played any of the Hitman games. It's a. Is it like a. It's like a Ubisoft game, isn't it? Tell you what I did really like. What was that game? The main guy was like Sam Fisher or something like that. I think his name was. What was that game? That was epic. It was all like stealthy. I think it was Sam Fisher. had a bunch of them quite old I don't know if it I don't know if it's a thing anymore I think it's not a thing anymore <laughs> splinter cell that's the one yeah that was a wicked game that was a bit like the original I remember playing the was it the original Call of Duties or Modern Warfare? The first, that first Modern Warfare, or maybe it wasn't the first Modern Warfare. 
maybe it was and it was it was amazing it was like a film wasn't it those first modern warfare games but it wasn't really a house the game glitched and my pile of dead bodies started to float until they hit the ceiling <laughs> just one nice nice yeah splinter cell because the thing what was what was cool about splinter cell was that you could go you could go kind of like guns blazing couldn't you you had that option but i used to like just seeing if you could kind of get through a mission without i, I guess uh, without kind of um alerting anybody i guess it was a little bit like assassin's creed as well in that it had some of that like not not parkour -y as such um but some of that sort of level stuff is that i feel like this is too this apex here so what's going on so the bottom of that i'm trying to i'm trying to point but I can't point anywhere because you can't see my cursor when it's on the <laughs> like a, on the other on the other screen. So this apex, I think, is is actually higher than this, and it's steeper, isn't it? It's steeper than that, which is a real pain. To be fair, it's doable, but it is really painful. Because you want something that's on the grid to to base your roof off, custom roof. Back in the days before I only played relaxing games. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it wasn't it wasn't as um I remember play was it what was the was there Call of Duty? What was the precursor? Was it Medal of Honor? That was amazing as well. I think it's just got to be steeper. I think it's just got to be a steeper roof. Okay, right. So I'm gonna we're gonna try and make this is this is always fun. I'm gonna try and make custom roof pieces. Oh, let's just get rid of that. Uh, I'm gonna try and make yeah Mod Medal of Honor. I vaguely remember just being. I remember there being a like Omaha Beach bit in Medal of Honor. That was just nuts. Much preferred Medal of the Cod. Don't really like Cod. Medal of Honor was well. Medal of Honor was sort of um, yeah it was quite a lot older wasn't it I think the original Medal of Honours but uh, right what are we going to make this out of let's see what the arbor pieces are like in terms of thickness uh, hello so that would probably be alright just had to wait for Harvey to go to bed <laughs> It's sort of slate looking roof though, isn't it? I wonder if I'd be better off just using thinner pieces. So I think if we did something like that. Just wondering whether we can use if there's a tile. Well, I guess we could use the tiles. I guess we could actually use. Let's have a look what this is going to look like. This will be crazy on the piece count, but it doesn't really matter too much because we're only building this. So if we use the brace piece. Flip it over. 
Yeah, I think that'll be our that'll be our puppy. It's got a more interesting texture as well. So we want a million of these basically for each one. And then the challenge is that I was saying it needs to be it needs to be that it's slightly slightly at a different angle. And then we'll have we'll have little beam sections I think coming down so that will help. So let's get another one of those. And then this wants to be offset like that. Yeah, they were wicked those games i remember that i do remember the medal of honor i remember the um particularly the storm in the beach bit was crazy difficult it taken absolutely ages because <laughs> it was brutal those sorts of games were brutal like games were brutal back in the day weren't they way more harder way less forgiving I, I I was a big fan of I was a big fan of um I think it was maybe it was Modern Warfare 2 I don't really remember maybe both of them were actually really good but they were so sort of cinematic weren't they as in terms of games oh I shouldn't have done that never mind So we should be getting we should be getting a bit of an angle here, but put my headphones on the journey knows 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 not to bug me when I'm wearing them. Sometimes I'm wearing them but not actually listening to anything. <laughs> oh dear. Is that like your little uh your little occupied light? Switch your little, <laughs> your little, do not disturb light on. Right, so I need to keep. I do actually need to keep the grid because I need to use the grid to copy this round. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain. Okay, so then we'll get get all of that together just make sure it is okay let's just like grab a few of them just shift the color a little bit I'm gonna do that again as well Uh, and then maybe we'll just like wonk up a few as well. Bit of wonk, a little bit of a bit of wonk. We we'll probably have to do this when we've done more of it as well, just so it feels a bit more, a bit more natural. Uh, right, and then we're gonna need. Some big fat beams. I used to really like PS1 game. It was three teams of pigs, blue, red, and green, I think. They had rocket launchers and whatnot. It was a war fight until only one. <laughs> I don't remember. It doesn't ring a bell at all. It was pigs. It was pig war. No, I don't. That doesn't ring a bell. 
take your word for it, but yeah. Might have been one and it escaped me. So I need to use, I need to do something like this just to get me, get me linked together with the next piece so it doesn't, it doesn't end up looking so messy. Yeah, I don't, that doesn't ring a bell. Do, 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 do. That shouldn't have happened. So that's because I've left the grid. That's my my mistake already. Was I've moved off the grid. So oh, actually, that's probably not that. It's probably just that those tiles are slightly different. So that's fine, we can just fix those. It's one of those things that once you get the first piece right, this is basically a little building step for the roof, so getting these first things right is always important. And then obviously I'd do the same with the walls, have a little set. So that's now off grid. But, can I use the grid still of that? How's this going to look? If I switch the grid, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. It's a bit too steep though, isn't it? So, let's just check. So, if I was to put... I was to put two of these together. Uh, in theory. That would be, I think, too much. Just have a look. Let's have a look at this a second. So let's just put that over there. Do, 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 do. <coughs> Wake up and remember it, stupid o'clock. Sounds pretty, uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> well, what am I doing? Let's not do that. Why is that? What's going on? What's it going? Oh, it's because I've. Oh, no, it does that. I'm trying to remember it for years. At this point, I'm starting to think it was just a recurring bad dream. <laughs> oh dear. It's still not right, is it? It's not as it's not as steep as that. It's not actually as steep as that. Okay. Let's try that then. Uh one. 
just have a look at that. <clears throat> It's a bit closer. Wasted a load of pieces there, but I'm just trying to get it kind of roughly. What do you reckon? I'm not sure. Still not quite sure. It's steeper, isn't it? <clears throat> Still steeper. It's more like it's more like up there. This is hard. <laughs> this is hard, but I'm remembering skills that I hadn't remembered, so this is all messy, but this is not what we're doing. I'm just getting it. I'm just trying to get it like roughly. Just trying to get it kind of roughly looking right. I think it's still a steeper roof. That's not what you want to do. Looks fine to me. <laughs> no, Lindsay, it's got to be right. We've got to obsess over it for many, many hours. Let's try that. Uh, so get rid of this because it'll get confusing. Oh, that's not the one. That's not the way. Uh, so I want that one there. It's all about it's all about managing your groups when you oh, when you're doing this sort of thing and having the grid because the grid massively helps. Has everyone been playing today? I've been playing subsistence nights break from house vipper. <laughs> You've um have you given up on house vipper? We're just having a break. Do, 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 do. Not been doing very much. Not been particularly productive. Not been feeling all that well today, to be fair. It's been a bit rubbish earlier. Break, bored of it already. <laughs> Playing, not watching. Yeah, fair enough. So that could that could work. That does still. I don't know. Let's have a look. So let's translate that back. That way. That might be all right. Maybe we'll go with that. <clears throat> Not played today. My stupid jobs get, gets in the way of all my fun. Worked seven to four, picked up the child, had tea, played with him, read some stories at bedtime. Now playing, now watching this stream whilst playing FIFA. Nice. What did you read? What the, what the, what's the reading material of these days? My favourite book when I was a kid was... I think was where the wild things are. I used to love that.
I made that film, no, I thought that film was actually alright, but... He had Room on the Broom. Oh, Room on the Broom I've heard of. Do, do, do. What sort of age do you start reading to them then? I guess you can start reading whenever, can't you? Maybe I should get my nephew some books. I'm quite looking forward to reading like Roll Doll to him. Those are so much fun. Actually, yes, absolutely used to love. I think when I was a bit older, George's Marvelous Medicine and Fantastic Mr. Fox were my favourite books. And maybe even The Twits. My my um my friend video called me the other day and I said <laughs> I said can we not do video I look like Mr Twit I don't but <laughs> I've got a beard I've got a full face of beard and I've got my dinner in my beard so can we not FaceTime we started reading to him when he was one three books before bed nice and I'm presuming he just wrote in the same books. Yeah, Roald Dahl is wicked, isn't it? Imagine Roald Dahl was your granddad. That'd be wicked. Imagine having... <laughs> imagine having... I think the dream set of grandparents would be someone like Roald Dahl, but then also definitely David Ambra. That's your, that's your dream ticket right there, isn't it? And then maybe you've got like... Billy Connolly's your uncle or something. Hey Dennis! Billy, Con <laughs> Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly's your well, younger Billy Connolly. Yeah, he's about 30 books at the moment, so he filters f flitters between them all. Nice. Uh this is in a different set, isn't it? That's why it's not working. Do 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 This is this is poor decisions. I'm making poor decisions. Why not just move the roof piece? Why not just move the roof piece? It's together. Plus Roy Chubby Brown. <laughs> but just to spice up Christmas, just to inject a little bit of. Is Roy Chubby Brown the really racist one? Or maybe I'm mixing them up. What's everyone's favourite role, Joel? I used to like... Uh, yeah, George's Marvelous Medicine was... I, I think... Well, I think Fantastic Fox was my favourite. What's the name? Does anyone remember the name of the, the farmers? Here's trivia for you. No googling. Lin Lisa, I'm looking at you for this. <laughs> I feel like Lisa's our, our resident bookie. What are the name of the... Not that this is high literature. Not racist, it just swears. All right, okay. Um, let's make... Let's just make a little group of these. So I need one that doesn't have that side. And then one that doesn't have that side. Billy Connolly and Gordon Ramsay would be a lovely relatives. Gordon Ramsay, really? Jesus, I don't know about Gordon Ramsay. I thought I think Gordon Ramsay would be like Gordon. He's up off my child. He's two. He's like <laughs> he's just shouting and bawling at my child for not being able to flambe or something. Like he's two. Chill out, Gordon. He's up off his back. Do, do, do. Oh, that's not what we wanted. It's not the one. Yeah, so I shouldn't have done my little randomization of the tiles yet, because that's actually made it worse, because I'm now going to have a repeating pattern that I've got to get rid of. Danny the, Danny the champion of the world. 
yeah that was a bit older that was a bit older wasn't it i think i'd i think i'd kind of stopped reading them by then my brother used to like danny the champion of the world though george's marvelous medicine is the one where he kills his nan isn't it He's, he's got his nan's like horrible and she has to have medicine every day and he like poisons the medicine with a whole bunch of stuff sorry my question was what are the name of the three farmers in in fantastic mr fox answers on a postcard or we'll put it in the chat up to you So have I changed the angle of that? I can't remember if I have. I think it's the same angle as the other one, isn't it? My plan was to change the angle of it. I don't really remember, but we'll do it now. So I think this one is actually a bit, probably a little bit closer to the... Just to that. I think we'll just go there. <clears throat> yeah Danny the champion of the world not Daniel <laughs> I think that was so one of them is about him isn't it one of them is kind of about his childhood or something is that is that Danny the champion of the world or is, there another, is that another one I think once it got, because, um, yeah, I think I wasn't as much of a, as a reader as my brother. So I liked all the ones that were a bit more simple. Uh, and then so once it got to like things like the BFG, I just didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't down. Uh, actually, let's make this. I know I'm doing this all over and over again, but let's make it a bigger piece first. Yes, you got one of them. I'll give you a clue. They all begun with B. Not a roll doll book. Oh yeah, the Secret Diary of Adrian Mole. Yeah, I I had that. Kenzuk's Kingdom. Don't know that one. What's that about? Yeah, fantastic, Mr. Fox was was this just a bit of a badass. He was just like he was just cool, <laughs> and he just was he just outsmarted them, didn't he? Stupid farmers. Who do you think you are? Uh. Let's actually keep it. Uh, no, we need to move it. Do, 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 do. It says how you make custom rooms anyway, so there's a thing. So by keeping the grid, basically the whole point of having the grid still linked to this is that you can see that it's all moving all nicely. You know, it's not it's not going randomly all over the place. It's staying. Because basically, the way that it works is just if you have a grid piece, it seems to make it. It seems to always be that there's like a precedent that it's always the grid piece that takes uses that to translate by close beavis butthead and bean no you're close but it's not the one it's good but it's not the one beavis bean broccoli and beetroot uh no <laughs> no
we might just leave that little crossover at the top because I think we can just we'll probably just put of like a ridge beam down there anyway okay so now I've got in fact I should probably just for the sake of it keep that bit I've got that bit over there which is that angle and I've got one of those so let's do that it was bogus bogus bunts and beam something about eat no fat no lean or something like that and one of them was like a cider I think one of them was a cider maker and one of them was a chicken farmer and then I can't remember what the third guy was. One was really skinny and tall. But yeah, it was Boggis. I think it was pretty sure it was Boggis, Bunts, and Bean. Do, 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 do. And I can't really remember. I think it's like one of maybe it's like one of his kids. Fantastic Mr. Fox is his first name isn't Fantastic, right? What's his actual? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think you ever know what his actual name is. It's just cool. Let's just say he's he's actually called Fantastic. Fantastish. It's a family on a yacht. A kid and dog fall overboard and end up stranded on an island. Encounter some someone named Kensuki on the island. The dog was called Stella Artois. Stella Um Stella Artois. Good read though. Not read since year six because it ended up being an assignment, so it made me dislike the book for a while. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah, not heard of that. Not heard of that one at all. So we do some little. Maybe we'll do a bit of decoration on this as well, as it's going to be a. Um, I can't remember what this is called. I think it's called Edge, or maybe it's an Arctic piece. It's the little spiky, spiky bit. What is it called? Border? There it is. Uh, so actually we'll go, I'll go off that. actually just have that as the bottom but <laughs> should have done that detailing before I copied this round but that's all key all key Yeah, my brother was my my older brother was into um, the famous five as well. That was a thing that he liked. But as I said, I was I wasn't yeah I wasn't really very much a reader at all. Still not massively, to be fair. I, I like a I do like a good book, but. It tends to be one of those things that I read, like if I'm on holiday, I can absolutely like blitz through books, but 
just had you had the super grand books i don't remember being super grand books hang about watch out super grand i watched the tv show obviously uh let's not do that yeah actually Do 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 da de da de da Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm thinking I might do a thing. Oh, I'm such a numpty. I might do a thing on stream, on Twitch. That's like a theme tune. <laughs> Write the theme tune, sing the theme tune. Will be the name of the game, and it'll be like. Uh, you randomly get a theme tune and you have to guess what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Be that probably be really crap, but I reckon you probably get away obscure kids TV theme tunes. I reckon you probably get away with copyright breaches on that. I can't imagine uh, what's going on here. Which ones do I want? I can't imagine like Simon and the Witch or the Super Grand theme tune gets you in trouble with DMCA, DMCA strikes. Mm -mm -mm. Like the Mr. M Mr. Men books when I was younger, I never heard of Super Grand. Super Grand was a TV show. You might be a bit young. You might be a bit young, Daniel, to be fair. Can't actually remember how old you are, but I think you're a bit younger than I am. Okay. Right. We don't want to lose the grid, but we want this out of the way, so I'm just going to... Yoink that underground. And then all of this can go because I'm not using those anymore. So the whole point of keeping those bits underground is that obviously it stays on the grid then as well. But if I ever want to move that or I want to move this piece, for example, I can just move it on the grid again. But it's also a lot easier if I wanted to ever like just pick that all up without the grid. Looks like I have got a bit in there still. <clears throat> Sometimes don't read much at home, but on holiday in the room or around the pool, I can zoom through them. Yeah, I used to do a thing. So I've travelled by myself quite a lot over my life. Uh, that doesn't look great, does it? It's looking a bit crap. I think it's because this is all this is all wrong at the moment. So this should actually be a a separate bit that kind of protrudes out. We do that anyway. We kind of do. Yes, true. But it's more organic. <laughs> Maybe we leave it organic. And it just happens. I'm surprised they got that Quantum Leap one. I can't even remember it now, but I don't want to I don't want to put it back in my head. 28, 29 and two months. Yeah, you're you're a young young pup. 
too grand. You're definitely too young for Super Grand. Super Grand was, I think, an 80s thing. Hey, Mrs. T. Super Grand just aired in nine. Last aired in 1987. Is that real? Oh, Jesus. So I was five when it finished. So that was was that repeats as well? Was that that was the last time it was ever on telly? I remember it really well. I was only five. This is looking absolute turt at the moment, but hold hold on. <laughs> we'll just keep going with it. We'll just keep working on it. When was Simon and the Witch? Simon the Witch and Supergrand. Oh, Supergrand's a cartoon. Is Supergrand a cartoon? Hang on. The intro to Supergrand is a cartoon, isn't it? I, I, I mix up Simon and the Witch. In fact, there's a whole bunch of them that I mix up. So I mix up like rent a ghost and I mix up. This is all for all the rest. Anybody else that's watching. <laughs> watching later. Apologies. This is all like old style UK kids TV that we're talking about. Uh, well, from the from the not a cartoon, but the intro was a cartoon, right? And is it the same? Is the woman? No, she's not the same, is she? I can see her now. I can see her in my head. She's actually young. She's actually quite a younger woman, isn't she? But she's made up to. Well, she's not young, but she's not like really, really old. That actress, you know, Superman. Hang on, Superground I watched was not a cartoon. No, it, but it, yeah, no, I, I was getting mixed up. But the intro was a soup. I'm pretty sure the intro, like the the opening credits to it, were a cartoon. But I'm trying to remember if the actress that played Supergrand. Well, I initially I was like, hang on, the actress that played Supergrand is not the actress that plays Miss uh, plays um, Simon and the Witch. I think the woman that plays Simon Simon and the Witch is the one with Pippin the Dock. Is that old lady? God, this is so obscure. <laughs> Should I just not do this? Should I just not make stuff? Should I just not make stuff and just do this? I do remember Why Don't You? Yeah. Why don't you? I don't remember much of it. Right, we need to make this. We kind of need to make this big window. Here. Let's just block this out. Let's get this blocked out. Simon and the Witch finished 1988. I don't remember, I don't know how I, I remember this stuff then. Like I really vividly remember Simon. And what about Wurzel Gummidge? When did Wurzel Gummidge finish? And Rent a Ghost. I feel like Rent a Ghost was probably in the started in the 70s. Maybe they all started in the 70s. Oh God! Wurzel. What was the name of Wurzel's missus? Mrs. Gummidge. What was her name? <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so this does kind of hang over Aunt Sally. That's right. Yeah. Wurzel finished in 98, but has repeated a lot. Yeah, so I obviously must have only seen repeats of that. So this whole roof needs to come forward. Oh no. Oh no. We've already got 4,000 pieces. How have we already got 4,000 pieces there? That's mad. 
You were born 1984. I didn't realise you were that old, Dennis. I didn't realise you... Well, I say that old. I'm older than you, but I didn't realise you were that age. I always had you down as more like late 20s. Oh, yeah, you are. When's the ghost finished in 19... I remember it from number 73. It must have been repeated then. I cannot... I can't remember how the... Oh, how, did, why, how come it suddenly let me move it? What happened there? It's 5,000 pieces in that one roof section. God bless it. So I think more like it's kind of standing out more, isn't it? It is, it is letting me move it, it's just it's not happy about it. <laughs> it's not keen on the idea. Right, obviously this whole section here can go because that doesn't need to be there. Yeah, see this sticks out kind of more like this, I think. I was never a fan of the crankies. I just, I always thought it was a bit, I don't know, I don't remember, I don't remember really ever watching it and thinking it was good. So that's more like a, okay, okay. So that's more like where that sits. Okay, so let's make a let's make ourselves like a wall texture then. It's gonna be nuts on the piece on the piece cat as well. The goodies are the goodies is too early, I think. About seventies, isn't it? I don't remember watching the goodies. I do vaguely remember it being on, but I don't think it was I don't think it was a kid show in in the eighties, was it? Uh, right, what do we think that's made out of? Maybe we just make it out of timber. Yankees <laughs> every time I see Nicola Sturgeon. How very dare you? Yes, you're probably right. I think you're right though, Lisa. Most people probably look at her and think Jimmy, uh, the little one. Whichever one was the little one of the crankies. So let's make it, let's make it kind of timber clad, I guess. I'd like to get that little bit of kind of green into it. Yeah, that's better. Gemma's going to kick my bum. I, I have to say I do actually quite like Nicola Sturgeon. I think she's quite credible. I mean, they had that leadership debate a few years ago it was like you know, the women were all just the grown-ups <laughs> every time the women spoke you're like mm, yeah they kind of know what they're talking about they're not idiots this is without getting too much into politics but so the uk budget has just been announced today what a surprise the, the tory government or conservative government uh, who are the, the Republican equivalent in our country have cut the cut the tax on champagne? What a surprise! <laughs> what a shocker that is. Priority number one. They've got their priorities right. The old, the old Tory government. No mess it. But yeah, I do quite like I do quite like Nicola Sturgeon. I don't know where I don't where she sort of. I think she's, yeah, they're quite, I think Scottish, I mean, I think the Scottish Parliament has actually got quite a lot of things that, like, from the outside without knowing that much about it, 
like they seem like they've got quite a lot of things that just kind of make sense and are just kind of good in fact actually if you look across the world i reckon most of the female and i'm not saying this to carry favor but most of female politicians are just like they're kind of all right aren't they they know they kind of seem like they're they know their shit excuse my language I think maybe if I make them all, yeah. The thing you got to be a bit careful about with these sorts of things is they don't all end up just having the really similar little like looking patterns. And if you use all the same pieces of timber without kind of spinning some around, it can be a thing. But yeah, quite like I don't know who's the the Welsh who's the leader of Plaid Cymru anymore, but she was always pretty sound as well. She's more in, interested in independence than anything else. Uh, I don't know. To be fair, probably right. I think they've got a lot of stuff that looks right. Even you know, even the stuff that he has been how you doing? Um, even the fact that she's you know, whenever she does a press conference she's got, you know, someone doing uh the sign language and stuff. She's like we never see that in our poli you know, and our politicians never do that. I don't kinda ever get like why they don't, but oh what's that thing we're doing? And not that that's like you know totally an indication of of anything, but it I don't know it just is an indication of the fact that you're just a bit more considerate. And whether you, I think the diff, I think the thing is, I kind of, whether, whether you, I think the, like, she kind of sounds like she knows what she's talking about. And it doesn't mean she's right, but she seems like she at least has some, like, passion for it. And not that she's just, like, playing. <laughs> just playing at being important. Anyone ever see the Rocky Horror Picture Show? I haven't seen the show, but I've seen the film. Yeah. I've seen the film with um, Richard O'Brien in it. And is it... Who's the, who's the woman? Is it... Um, Oh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Oh, she's the same woman out of uh, Thelma and Louise, isn't she? I think. Oh, crap. Thank you. I kind of, I'm not like, this is not m at all my kind of strong point, which is kind of why we're doing it, because I'm trying to get better at, at architecture. This is not, it's not something that I'm super confident in. So we won't put that in. I think what my my strong suit is kind of obsessing over tiny details I guess what's going on there oh, I've got a, oh crap I did all of that I've got a piece that's wrong so that's all right for the bottom Richard O'Brien actually wrote it did he oh yeah Susan Sarandon that's why right. I didn't know that he wrote it and did, has he, did he have anything to do with the musical as well? 
I always really like Richard O'Brien. Richard O'Brien in the Crystal Maze. As soon as Richard O'Brien wasn't in the Crystal Maze, it was poo. So it was that Ed Tudor pole doof. It was just rubbish. It never had the same thing at all. It just never felt the same. That was one of those things because they did they um they opened that up, didn't they? You could go on it with your friends. It was a thing you could like get a team together. Go in the Crystal Dome. The Crystal Dome. Uh, you know, I'm surprised to learn that I do feel the film sort of drags towards the end. I don't really remember, to be honest. I don't really remember it that well. I've seen it a bunch of times. I don't think I've ever, like, really kind of gone out of my way to watch it. But it's one of those films that's... It's usually on really late at night, isn't it? I feel like it quite often is on around Christmas. Maybe I'm... Or, like, maybe... New Year's Eve or something. So I feel like whenever I've watched it, it's always been... Maybe I've been, like, wrapping presents or something. Actually, that feels right. That sounds like the sort of thing that ends up being on when you're, what, like, late night wrapping presents, having a couple of drinks, Rocky Horror comes on. <laughs> you're like, oh, go on then. Go on then. Might as well. And who's what's the who is the guy who plays what's his name? Frank Converter. Is that right? Frank Converter? Is that right? <laughs> Crystal Maze was A's, but the contestants ought to be there. <laughs> yeah. When you watch it now, there's always some there's always a few that are just right numpties, aren't there? I kinda love those things though. I kinda love watching those things like eighties 80s game shows where someone's just like, you know, Deidre's definitely had her hair done. Tim Curry, that's it. And every now and again, there's like some really like massively passive aggressive captain as well who just, he's like, does all the physical games. I just, I take a real sick, <laughs> sick humour in those sorts of things. <laughs> You're like, someone just, yeah, you can see all the little group dynamics going on. Yeah, because it was all work. They were all work people, weren't they? They weren't friends. That's right. They were all colleagues. Oh, this is wrong. Should be going out one more. I think I'm right in saying that, that they were all colleagues. They weren't... In fact, let's, let's actually do that. I think we'll shorten the, the roof. They were, all, they were all colleagues. So there was always, like, underlying loathing going on. And they all had to just, like, pretend that they liked each other, but secretly... Janet from HR was <laughs> sleeping with the IT head of IT or something. There was always that underlying weirdness, which just made it brilliant. And someone was always absolute rubbish as well. I seem to remember there was always someone who would always take a skill game. Mystery. I'll have a mystery, please, Richard. <laughs> Let's just be rubbish at it. Someone would always get locked in. Tim Carrey was really good in that, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I have seen some of the Richard. I do actually quite like Richard Ayawadi. But it's just not the same. It's not got the kitsch factor anymore. Imagine that as a team building in your work. It depends if you hated everyone you worked with. Because the thing is, you have to do team building things. I think... As a team building thing, if you're going to do a team building thing, that's a pretty decent one. It's not like, I don't know, some of the crap we get made to do, don't you? 
not spoopy yet. <laughs> it's not spoopy. Yeah, the new episodes, they're on like Dave or something, or Challenge or something like that. Macho physical game player was always a bully and it was so funny when they got locked in. Yeah. That would be me letting the team down. Oh. Loser. I reckon you'd be a sorter. I think there are... I think there are... There are... I think that... Christopher's was always quite a nice little... Like, indication of... Human beings as well. Because every now and again you'd get a team... Who'd be like... You know, all the meatheads would just get left. And then you'd get... You could see people that the like the smart ones because the whole thing was like you need a sorter, right? You need someone at the little post. I'm talking about when you actually get in the dome. You need someone to sort. You can't just have everyone shoving. That person's supposed to receive tickets. <laughs> Maybe there's two of you. You receive tickets and you sort out the silver from the gold. Only pot. So everybody else is gathering, and you've got. So you got to have a system. You got to have a system. You see. If you don't have a system, the whole world falls apart. But they changed it as well, didn't they? they changed all the worlds because I remember the original worlds. What was it? It was so there was. Aztec. I feel. I feel like the the Aztec one. Not as was it Aztec. Was that in right from the start? So I, th I feel like at the beginning it was medieval. Um, medieval industrial. Was it Aztec? Or was it ancient Egypt? I can't remember. Was that and was that in from the start? And I think the futuristic one was in from the start. So it was medieval, industrial, future, and then whatever the like the hot one was. And then it was actually quite. They added the sea. The underwater one was pretty cool. Yeah, it would have been so much fun to go on. That been. I think it'd have been well fun. As you say, as long as you. As long as you didn't loathe everyone you're on it with. Crystal Dome. And they were always what well, the prizes were always a bit naff, weren't they? They were like not in like you know, bullseye sort of bracket of naff. But they were like you've won a windsurfing course in Wolverhampton or something. <laughs> that's your that's your prize. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I feel like it was. I feel like it was four worlds. The prices always seem more, like more team building days <laughs> yeah but didn't they i think they got them for themselves though i think they got to choose if i remember rightly they all had the choice they had choices of prizes but they got them individually because they did that bit they'd always do that bit at the end wouldn't they where they'd give out be giving out the prizes Beer voucher at this Weatherspoons in Rochdale. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you want a holiday without your wife and children. <laughs> That's always that kind of the only reason why I ever watch. I do quite like sometimes watching those kind of old crap game shows. Just to see the prizes and just to like how, I don't know, just how kind of innocent, innocent it seemed.
Right. Um, okay, so let's move. I should be able to move that all forward. Like so. Getting there. We're getting somewhere. It's not, it's not spoopy yet at all, but so far it's just a very, very uh, piece heavy build. <clears throat> Pulley special price! <laughs> Taste mode was never a, a, a bully special. No, no, no. Bully special price. Oh. Um, I shouldn't have joined all that stuff on the side to this. That's better. Where's that coming down? Excuse me. Gemma's not asked yet. What's the what's everyone had for dinner? <laughs> I've always expected there's supposed to be a what's everyone had for dinner question by now. Uh, the prices were all amazing on there. What you could here's what you could have won: all expenses paid, trip to Rome, and a brand new Peugeot. Yeah, my brother's got a tease made. I don't know if it actually ever uses it, but or well, what? It's probably not actually a tease made. I guess that's the like official. It's probably like top of the line, isn't it? Tease made. It's probably got a. T friend or something, Snidey, <laughs> Snidey equivalent, the Poundland equivalent. Yeah, chili. Mm, I like a bit of chili. I'm not a chili in ages. I might have. Um, I was thinking about it the other day. I've not had nachos. I love a nacho. I love a nacho, me. Not had any in ages. I think I can have nachos. As long as I get gluten free nachos. I'm not convinced the gluten is doing anything, by the way, peeps, but we shall see. Sticking with. <laughs> I was going to ask it straight off the bat. We should just have, you should just have like a, a bot command. <laughs> Exclamation mark dinner. <laughs> just auto generates. Let's just take that away. <clears throat> no, I know, yeah, I know Doritos aren't, but I think you can get, I think it's like, not like proper tortilla chips because they're not, not. Same, same. I tried new muesli today. Made out of... I had butt wheat. Mmm, butt wheat. Yeah, I had my butt wheat breakfast this morning. And it wasn't... It wasn't all that. Definitely not all that. I'm going to go back to the other granola. It's a great idea. I'll be your butt with the exclamation mark too, yeah. Tea, not dinner. Tea. Two for tea. What if you have tea? What about if you have tea, though? I'm confused. What makes... So, 
I so you have do you have supper as well? This is a northern thing, isn't it? Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think most are alright. As long as you get like proper but yeah, not Doritos unfortunately. But yeah, quite like a quite like a like a nacho. A bit of guac. A bit of cheeky guac. Loads of cheese. Do, do, do. We have tea with your tea. That's just most confusing. Very, very confusing. This the back of this keeps reminding me of Lego. Lego bits. I say T, but then married to a Scot, an X. What's a Matlow? What's a Matlow? Matlow. Wasn't he like Perry Mason? Matlock. Oh, I'm doing a really stupid job here. This is not this is not taking time is it this isn't tedious matlock was he like yeah i thought it was like quincy or perry mason or what ironside i wonder if subs don't know if any, any of you guys know it's my uh my airwolf reference in the discord the other day <laughs> pretty sure sub zero didn't understand what i was talking about bless him most people were a string fellow hawk <clears throat> uh in the north they say tea not dinner have this argument with byron all the time he says dinner just to annoy me. He's from Scotland, so he should know better. Sailor is Matlow, is it? So where's that come from, Lisa? Why why is it Matlow? Never heard that before. <laughs> That's lunch. <laughs> yeah. Noon midday. That's lunch. So when do you have lunch? Are you a hobbit? Are all northern people hobbits? Is this because there's many, many different meals that we don't understand? Breakfast is at three o'clock in the morning. Then you have second breakfast. Then you have lunch. Just before dawn. Then you have supper. <laughs> That's what we need. Breakfast, dinner, tea, and supper. So hold on. Breakfast, dinner, tea, and supper. So that's an extra meal. How come you guys are getting extra meals? I'm pretty bad at eating four meals, to be fair. I, I quite frequently only have, only have two. Breakfast, I'll quite often just have a coffee. <laughs> That count that counts as a as a breakfast. I quite I'd rather have a coffee or I'll have a or I'll have like a, a bigger breakfast and then not have lunch. <laughs> you can lunch at me all you want. Oh dear. You peeps are precious. You peeps are very precious to me. 
Matlot is a loan word from Middle French, made in the same. I've never heard that before. Interesting. So does that get used in all? Is that a Scottish thing, or is that just something I've not heard? <laughs> Lunchgate. Lunchgate is broken out. Yeah, well, yeah, Dennis makes a fair point. Thing is, you only brunch if you... Brunch is a, brunch is a compromise, right? Brunch, you don't have... You don't have... You're not supposed to have brunch. That's my feeling. Brunch happens by accident if you're late. Or you, or you, yeah, you plan to have a late breakfast. Most people I don't think have lunch, or don't have breakfast, brunch, lunch. <laughs> God, I'm so confused. Supper, tapa, lapa. Hey, Becca Boo! Yeah, I'm not. I'm not very good. I'm. I'm not Esther Wolf by any stretch of my imagination. I'm. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> We're a long way from it. Brunches for people who sleep in. Yes, exactly. Lunches for people who sleep in as well. Insomniacs like me. Then you just go straight to lunch. You have your butt wheat for breakfast. Butt wheat for, butt wheat for lunch. <laughs> I was like, I'm eating this thing, so I, I was like, I'll jazz it up a bit because it's like there's no. It basically is literally just bird seed. It's just seed. It's not even. I mean, it said toasted, toasted butt wheat. Uh, but I was like, this is basically just seeds. How are we supposed to eat this for breakfast? Uh, and then, yeah, so I put some, like, some yogurt in it and some banana. But I was like, this is still really rubbish. I think that's the trouble when you're trying to give something up. If you, if you're trying to give something up, I always think, like, You've got to be careful not to have crap meals. You've got to have stuff that you still... You've got to still enjoy your meal because otherwise you just end up going... This is just, you know, not something I'm going to persist with because it's all... Everything I eat is just horrible. Whereas if you're... If you're like... It's so I want to have... If I'm trying to do gluten-free, I want to have stuff that's actually kind of nice still. But it's not easy. Growing up, when staying with my uncle, we'd have breakfast, dinner, and supper. Yeah, that's what that's what Lindsay said, isn't it? Recently, I'm just having breakfast, snacks, dinner, and a bit more snacks. <laughs> yes, yes, Beck and Boo, living the life of an adult. Exactly right. Just snack. Just graze. Just graze. Just put anything you want in your face hole at any point and then regret it later. <laughs> just put, just stick any old food in your face hole, whatever takes your fancy at any particular point, and then at some point in the near future, decide that it must be that you've got a gluten intolerance. And therefore, that is the answer to all your woes as to why you never have any energy. <laughs> that's probably what it is it must be an allergy that's why that's why you know any kind of weight gain that results in it, that results from just putting anything in your face hole that you fancy is it must be down to some sort of allergic reaction or yeah some sort of intolerance that's my theory Think a think a roll is a muffin or a or a balm. What the hell is a balm? Uh, 
Hey, we used to stop off at a club some days and have a roll. Or do you at up north call a roll something else? I'm 100% agree with it and regret it. Yeah, me too. See that? So, but part of that, so part of the reason why I'm trying the gluten-free thing is but apparently it's quite common for people to be a grazer if when you eat you're not really getting what you should be getting out of your food like i i feel like i eat like i think i eat reasonably all right like meal wise and things i think i don't you know like so tonight i had a bit of fish uh pan fried so not the best way i could have done it but you know pan fried some fish um and i had some like new potatoes and then some cabbage with, like steamed cabbage like that's pretty healthy that's not a bad meal but within like 10 minutes of eating it and i had like a decent amount but within like 10 minutes of eating it i'm kind of going i kind of want some some like snacks is there any snacks? Are there any crisps? And that's not right, is it? What's that about? Is that just gluttony? Maybe it's just, <laughs> just gluttony. Maybe it's just that I'm a glut. I mean, maybe that's a thing. If that's the case, then that's a that's yeah i'm i'm giving up the glutton the, the gluton the glutons do you eat fast uh what as in like just like throw it down not particularly no i don't think i do i think i'm a, a pretty slow eater is that the problem that i'm too slow I've always been, to be fair, up until very recently, I've always been one of those kind of annoying people that can eat anything and never put any weight on. And for most of my life, um, yeah, I've been, it's always been like, not, I've never been like super, super skinny, but I've always been someone that like, I'd kind of like to put some weight on. Um, and I think, that's just kind of ended up being so like for, for example i always used to have full fat milk because it was just like you know i, I don't mind having that extra bit uh to to you know to try and kind of bulk me out a bit more sort of thing but now it's kind of like okay i feel like i've trained my body like, I don't think I've ever eaten that badly because we never were, like, my, when we were kids, we were never, you know, you get some kids that are like, yeah, mum and dad give you fish fingers and chips every night. We were never that family. My mum was never that. My mum was always, like, it was always funny because, like, my friends, would, my friends would come over and stay or whatever. And I remember one particular friend, he, um, and we basically just have like Bernard, Bernard Matthews turkey drummers around his house. That's all we ever really had. Or like frozen pizza or whatever. It was amazing. But when he'd come around mine, my mum would cook like buff bourguignon or something like that. We'd be like, what is this? It's like, well, it's really nice. Try it. Or she'd cook shepherd's pie or something. So we were, ne yeah, I was never like, I've never eaten, I've never been too bad. I've never eaten, like, I don't particularly like really fatty stuff. But, yeah, it's just weird. It's like now it's just kind of like, you know, maybe it's maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a hunger thing. It's just a habit. Maybe that's all it is. It's just like a habit of shoving stuff in. Do not eat meat at all, Dennis. Yeah, interesting. I think that's a lot of work. I think that's the. I mean, I, 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 I admire anyone. So, do you eat fish or do you not? I think I could be pescatarian. I don't think I could be. I don't think I could be veggie. Hello, 
had an ex-girlfriend who was a pescatarian. Um, and she's just she used to get really like anemic. She used to really struggle to get like she just had, like every now and again we just have to have steak because she just would be like I'm yeah she'd be exhausted. I'd say your lips are going blue. Be like you, you don't look very well. Your lips are going blue. And she'd be like yeah, I feel like I need a steak. <laughs> My lad is the same. We always cook homemade food and we know most his age, three, are having Mackey's most night or takeaways because the parents can't be asked cooking. It's really bad for you, really. To be fair, it's not like, it's not just the fact that it's not helping your development and stuff, but it's, it just sets a precedent, doesn't it, for how you're going to kind of be in your life. Not just, um, not just like food wise, but also just, I always think, and my mum used to have a thing that would always be, so I never used to, I'd never, I've never really liked mushrooms. Um, and it took absolutely years for me to convince her that I didn't like mushrooms and to stop giving me mushrooms because she used to just be like, well, your chase buds change. So it's been, a, it's been like three months since you last had a load of mushrooms. <laughs> So try some mushrooms. Be like, Mum, I really don't like them, but I actually really don't like them. I might make might make me sick. And then you try that, do that thing, and sitting at the table, you're like, Mum, I'm really not liking these. She'd never have it. It'd always take ages to convince her. But I think if you don't, I mean, to be fair, I never really like. I never ended up liking mushrooms, but. Um, I'd eat them now. But I think it's also... I think the thing is, parents panic, don't they? Like, if your kid's not eat... Like, the, the, the default position is that, like, oh, my God, my kid's going to... is going to sit there and die of starvation. It's like, well, you know, your kid's going to eat. It's not going to sit there and eat nothing. If it if it doesn't like that thing you're giving them, eventually it's going to eat it because there's nothing else. I mean, that's what my mum used to say. She's like, well, we don't have... Yeah, you know, we can afford... We couldn't afford to have Mac and D's every bloody night. Or one of my my girlfriend's friends is a mate that has never cooked a meal in her life. Her poor kid is all backed up. Can't go to the tour. Oh no! Even after medical advice, changed the kid's diet. Oh, that is awful. She just doesn't want to cook. That's got. I mean, that's got to be something else, though, isn't it? Like, if it gets to the stage where you're not you're not looking after your kids. That's got to be something, there's got to be something more going on than just that she doesn't like cooking. Like, I get it. Like, I, you know, I, you know, peeps, you know, my, my most recent ex, she didn't like cooking. And every, you know, every time she ever cooked, it was, she, she never had any confidence in it. Um, And she used to pretty much, she would just eat. Before we met, she'd basically just eat the same thing every day. Literally, just like the same thing every day because that's just was just how she ate. It was just fuel. Um And we never like I never was like that because I think we always just like f f I think for my mum and when we were kids, it was always like you know, my mum's way of, of kind of I don't know. My mum's way of kind of communicating how much she loved us was that was cooking. Basically, that's what she that was like her her thing. She just she'd spend all day slaving over the over the dinner, and that would be her thing. It would be like I should bring back home economics in schools. I agree. I agree. I actually was saying about this the other day. Was I saying about this on stream the other day? But um, so my friend's a brownie leader, and it like they do stuff like they do stuff like kind of home economics, and she was saying that they've they've got them all doing like knife skills and stuff, not like learning to be a ninja, which was my immediate reaction. It's like, wait on what? You bought in a load of katanas and you're teaching them all to be <laughs> training an army? He's like, no, 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 no. 
Not yet, anyway. I haven't got to st <laughs> we got to that stage. First, you've got to make sure they don't chop their fingers off. Uh, right, let's trim this. But yeah, I, I kind of agree. It's one of those things, though. It's like if you don't get... Like, I'm a pretty good cook, but I'm a good... I'm a pretty good cook because my mum was. And my mum... And it, yeah, exactly what I was saying about it. You know, if you don't have... If you just get given... You know... The, the stuff that gives you the dopamine hit when you're a kid then that's what you then just like you, you set up you're not only getting the crap food but you're then excuse me then kind of just locking that in aren't you I guess you're locking that in as how food is eaten and, and done by that person and then that person does it with their children and etc 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 Schools are pretty useless at preparing people for life. Yeah, the the trouble is, yeah, they've got so much. It's all about the, it's all about the funding. You know, it's not it's not really the schools that it's not the schools and the teachers. It's but it's where they get their funding, and they're all it's all so tight all the time. That, that they have to do the they teach the, the the subjects that get them the the government money basically in the UK anyway I don't know about anywhere else but is that even vaguely close? Serious, the syllabus needs a serious change. Yeah, it's all it's all just it's all wrong, isn't it? It's all about it's all about teaching. We talked about it this the other day, weren't we? It's all about teaching. Or oh, yesterday, is this in the Discord yesterday? This conversation. And my feeling is that it's too much about teaching kids how to to do tests, and not about anything that really makes that much difference. It's weird, isn't it? You think that basically everything that your children are doing from a certain age is all just about getting them a job, getting them into the rat race. And not enough of it is about actually preparing them for being a human. Daughter's mum always fed her processed rubbish and couldn't believe I cooked everything from scratch when I got with her dad she's taken after me in that respect cooks all of her son's meals nice well done you right this is this is definitely coming i'm feeling it's starting to get there starting to become a bit more like a building now. <laughs> right so how are we going to do this whole frontage thing so we need like a little we need kind of like a dormer What can I use to make the shape of that then? Um, let me have a little look. Maybe one of those actually. There's the, the... Just to give the shape to it. So there's this like kind of little. Let's just go, go back to the big picture a second. There's this little. So this is this is kind of where we are. There's obviously this little overhang bit. So I will cut that. If you see everything there is all like, um, it's like a looks like there's another little kind of veranda or something there. 
and then there's this which looks like a bay window and then there's like a balcony up there with an arch over the top of it and all of that is a little bit more there's a little bit more roof going on overhanging there than I've got okay they're progressing though it's, it's becoming a thing but I think we, I think we probably can use that for the for the shape so let's just get this like so it should be like there and then that pitch bit comes up kind of underneath it it's not going to be exactly like this at all it's not going to be exactly like that picture but it's just my it's my rough guide okay so let's place that down <laughs> and that house has a terrace yeah it has a yeah like a and you can see the steps coming up to it that's all right i could yeah that's all it, yeah i'm gonna get rough i'm gonna get it as kind of and there's obviously another wind there's like another dormer kind of up here and another little uh kind of turret thing here so actually maybe we'll do that let's just take that off the grid so what does this look like how big are these oops so yeah as I said this is not something I do that often so I'm trying to kind of remember how a lot of this stuff works so that so it's like a little it's like a kind of curved corner there it's not even a curved corner so I don't think we've got anything I don't think we've got anything that does a roof to a sort of cone shape so that has to be custom as well Hmm. Challenging. I'm gonna have to channel my my silver rat. <laughs> channel my inner silver rat. It's deep inside somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that I was never one of those kids that that um. I mean, I remember at the time thinking it was really embarrassing, but yeah, I'm quite glad that my mum was never one of those parents that let us get away with eating anything. I always felt like we just, we basically just ate whatever she fancied eating. She, she would decide what she wanted to cook and that's what we would have. And it wasn't, it wasn't. But she, yeah, but it was always, she, I think she was always kind of making a conscious effort to cook nice things. Um, let's use a rod piece. So I want position snap. Oh, let's use a thick one. Right, so that. I'm using those because, and that mud pillar, because that is in the center of a grid. And when I attach pieces to it, and if I can remember how this goes, uh, so let's go thin. This is probably going to be the worst bit, but we'll give this a go. Uh, let's actually go with those.
it was always you get what you're given yeah totally the same and i i remember having to like sit and like you know if it was something i didn't like or i didn't really want i'd have to come and like bring my plate show my plate to my mum And she'd say, no, eat a bit more. <laughs> eat a bit more. And then you'd go back to the table and try and like mash it down or hide it under the forks or something. Hide it under your knife and fork as much as you could. Um, I guess we could kind of do this. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba, ba. This is going to take me a few a few attempts to get right because I don't really remember how you do this, but I think this is right. So then you get all of that, and then you duplicate it. So that's going to give me something that I can spin. <laughs> so let me just turn that down. Why is my rotation thing not showing? Hmm. Why can I not see the rotation? Annoying. No, I want that still. Get rid of that one. So, if I do that. Okay. <clears throat> so I think that was too small, but I'm just trying to remember how you do this. Um, we had a dog, so it was under the table treats for him. Kid didn't like cauliflower though. <laughs> Peas was the worst one for me. Couldn't stand them. Couldn't stand them. I used to do the whole like, shove them up your nose and all that sort of thing as well. Try and hide them up your nose. <laughs> See how many peas you can hide in your nose. So you went, well, you like leave and then snot them all back into the bin or something. I think that's a bit small, isn't it? Might be alright though. So, let me get rid of this. And then we're just left with a segment. Develop a trick of kneading a wee during tea. So cram a load of into tish into some tissue and mouth up to the bathroom, spit into the toilet and flush away. <laughs> Madness. Crazy. Um. Um. This isn't going to work. It's not going to work with these tiles, I don't think. Not at this size. Actually, no, it could work. Yeah, it can work. This is a pain. Okay, so it's got to go 
inside the frame. Um, yeah, I liked most things. I didn't like, I just didn't like, um, yeah, mushrooms. Pays weren't that bad, to be fair. But it was always one of those things. It should, there'd always be something. I think it was shepherd's pie. But my mum would always. I'd actually always like the shepherd's pie. But whenever she like, you'd say what you come home from school, you'd be like, "What's for dinner, mum?" She'd be like, "Shepherd's pie." You'd be like, oh. And she'd probably spend all day making shepherd's pie. Not that you could spend all day making shepherd's pie. <laughs> I think it was an excuse. Um, but yeah, and then I would be like, can we not have, can we not have, like, burgers or something? Like, all the other kids do it. But yeah, it was always a weird one when my friends would come over. She'd cook something weird. It's terrible. I feel like I've made this really difficult for myself. Maybe just maybe just planks. You could just make it a, a timber ceiling. Uh, timber timber tower. Tower of timber. Should be it should be doable for me. It's not that difficult. Let's do this. Let's do the straight bit first. That'll be easier. So that needs to go over there. Mum used to come up with a new dish that we all loved. Then she'd feed it to us so often we would get sick of it. She couldn't understand when we were no longer... Yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar as well. There were a few things that I really didn't like. I do vaguely remember like liver and bacon she used to cook sometimes and I couldn't stand that and uh, anything that was like well steak and, so steak and kidney steak and kidney pie or steak and kidney put which one is it steak and kidney pie I think it is was it steak and kidney pudding I didn't like I didn't like kidney So, yeah, whenever she'd make that, it would be like, bleh, bleh. And I actually didn't like fish for years. Well, I used to say that I didn't like fish. I don't think, rem I don't remember us eating a lot of fish, to be fair, but she used to like, she used to make, she used to smoke haddock sometimes. Uh, and I couldn't stand the smell of it. Oh no, actually, it's not. It wasn't smoked. It was pit, uh, poached. Maybe it was poached something. Kippers, maybe. I'm not sure. I could not stand the smell of it because it would stink out the whole house for ages. And so that for a, that for a long time was my impression of what fish was and I just didn't like it god this is why is this being so painful 
I'm sure I've done this before. My favourite fish meal is chorizo crusted cod. Basically anything that's got chorizo in it. You're good. Yeah, there's a like, there's a Jamie Oliver recipe that's a crusted cod that I like as well. I think it's like a 20 minute meals thing. is going to let me do this I bet it's not I think this is going to go no you can't do that well maybe it'll work maybe it'll work it's starting to it's starting to extrude out for some reason We've got Z fighting as well. Doo -doo. <clears throat> Capers leave a very long lasting smell. It takes a few days to clear the, the, the smell properly. There's a there's, yeah, I think this Jamie Oliver recipe's got um, like a homemade tartar sauce in it as well, which is really nice. Which has got a load of capers in it. Basically like capers and um, like little, what are they called? Cornichons. And then a bunch of stuff in it to kind of make it Uh, tartar saucy, and I think it's a, I think it's a mayonnaise base. I think it is. That's really nice. It's the stuff I have to say. It's not. Yeah, it's one of those things that when you're single, cooking this, it takes it takes some real effort to cook something like extravagant. I'm not too bad. I mean, I've, I've got to refine all this, but it's. Uh, I used to be alright at it. Last time I was single, <laughs> five years ago or something, I was alright at it. I used to be quite good at doing. I could even make myself a roast dinner sometimes. Because I've definitely picked up that. I picked up that gene from my mum. So I was saying about. And you know, my mum would always cook and it would be. It would be her way of sort of reminding us that she loved us, sort of thing. Uh, and so I've picked that. I definitely picked that up from my mum. And so I used to do that whenever I'm in a relationship. It's or if I'm you know got friends over or something, it, then I like to cook because it's and it's always from that sort of place. And so one of the things you have to kind of really remember when you're single again is that. You're the person you're supposed to be doing that for now. <clears throat> it's actually amazing. Nice job. Well, getting there. <laughs> we haven't got a lot, lot to see yet, but thanks very much. <laughs> much appreciated. It's going to turn into something, maybe. OK, 
Okay, so this is all this is all looking I know this all looks a bit weird, but once this gets copied round it should turn into like a little minaret sort of thing or a little top of a little dome. Take some patience though, that's for sure. Still not right. Let's get it all in position then we'll have to give it another twist again. It's not too bad though. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't done anything kind of extravagantly cooked in this new place yet. Have to cook twice when hubby's night. Cook for him midday and then for myself late afternoon. Yeah, I get when you're um you know if one of you's on nights or if you do different shifts that's rough. So do you eat different things or do you eat the same? You just cook the same thing and then you know, redo whatever you've got when he's when he's in. The trick I always found to being cooking for myself when I was single and enjoying cooking was that I'd cook I would I'd still cook for multiple people basically i'm not not in a like weird kind of miss havisham sitting around the dinner table with <laughs> i wouldn't lay the table for multiple people i'd mean that i'd cook the quantity that i would like if you were making like a you know like a bolognese sauce or a something or or just like a, a big a bigger dish that i'd cook it for multiple meals anyway and then i'd either freeze it or I'd just have it for like a couple of days But yeah, it's definitely a it's definitely a skill I've got to reacquire because it's something that I've basically just been like, and I haven't been eating badly, but I've eat, just been eating everything. I've, nothing I've been eating has particularly been self lovey, <laughs> self love dinners. It's all just been fuel, mostly. Yeah, exactly. Next day or. Or yeah, you know, or it's, if it's like a something you can freeze. I used to really enjoy being able to like. I used to quite often. I used to cook at the weekend. I'd cook like a bunch of different things. Like Saturday would be my day that I just would like cook. Uh, and I would just cook, and I'd be like, I'd cook for the. I'd mostly just be like cooking for the freezer. So I'd cook like, you know, a week's worth of food. And then when I got it from work, I could just like bang it in the oven or whatever and pull like cook some pasta or boil some potatoes or something. And I didn't have to make a whole big thing. And then I'd have, you know, not have to have the tedium of doing something every night. Gurgly, excuse me if you can hear that on the microphone. <clears throat> Better. Okay, well that bit's fine. So this takes definitely takes time, but it will be worth it. <laughs> And this is this is probably one of the skills that I really wanted to remember how to do, and I think I've remembered how to do it. Because it means you can make much more interesting roofs and things. Oh, I've got a sneeze coming. Excuse me. It's 
So the beauty of it being a spooky house is that it can be a bit rough as well. So some of these, some of these bits don't have to be perfect. Is that the smallest? It is. Okay, so this is where we're going to have to start going that way. Do, 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 do. What's everyone watching on telly at the moment? Any good um, Netflix recommendations? I'm lacking, I'm lacking kind of any inspiration. I'm still watching Peaky Blinders. I still like Peaky Blinders. I still haven't finished it. I've got the last season to go. Yeah, I've heard that Maid is very good. I think my I think it was my best mate was telling me about Maid. It's supposed to be really good. That net that's Netflix, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'll probably give that a go. Binge what Squid Game? Nice. This this is this is not going well. Let's just stop. Use this. Just started season three of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. Yeah, I don't really watch stuff like that. I don't really watch stuff that's. I like a. I think when I watch TV, usually I want it to be like a story or. or I do quite like a documentary as well. Amazon's got. Oh, I'm um, sorry, not Amazon. Netflix has got so good for. It's like documentary content. I tend to, I tend to, um, if in doubt, I thought like Louis Thoreau is a quite, quite a lot of, quite a lot of Louis Thoreau's that I've watched multiple, multiple times. Quite sure why I'm struggling with this so much. Shouldn't be that difficult. Just really struggling to get the angles right. That looks a bit better. Could actually make it. I guess we could just. I guess we could make it glass. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Maybe let's make it glass. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Because you've got so many different 
it has so many different kind of angles going on it starts to get a bit mind mind boggling Do you know what would be wicked, and it's probably not going to fit, is that, is it from the aquatic pack? Um, what is it? It's a, it's, actually, it's from the Africa pack. It's not going to fit though. The, uh, that might work. Is that recolorable? No. Oh, what a shame that's not recolorable. <clears throat> yeah, it was made was good too. Actress in that. The spits of the daughter has the same mannerisms, really weird. Found her doppelganger. Are we, as in, or well maybe it was you, was, was it you that was saying about it the other day? Someone was saying about it the other day. I don't remember. I do not remember. Huh? So I'm trying to make like a, like a glass thing, but. That's not going to work. Maybe it will. Maybe, perhaps. I don't know why I've come over all French all of a sudden. Excuse my sudden outbreak of the French. <laughs> More like uh, Lumiere. Lumiere, be our guest. Oh, stop. Stop. I'm trying to work out if this, this can fit because it would be kind of cool to be like, it's like a leaded glass sort of thing. Um, but it's gonna have to go. It's gonna have to be sticking in. Let me do. We just kind of need another bit. Mon chéri. <laughs> It was better than that. It was better. <laughs> Good morning. What a TV show that was. Rene! The windows, the Milo with the big boobies. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> it's probably all gonna. I'm probably gonna abandon this idea in a second. Uh, and I want the emissive. It really wasn't. Oh, oh! It's supposed to hum me. <laughs> it's supposed to tell me my accents are great. Right, I think this is all going to get abandoned in a second because it's not going to work. It'd be cool if it. It'd be cool if it does, but I, 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 maybe it will. Right, so that because you can control the light of that, can't you? So let's make it. Let's make it a bit more yellow. It's also. Let's also do that. And we probably should save it because I haven't saved it at all. Alright, <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not doing any more. I'm not doing any more. You ruined it. Okay. So. Uh, it's not going to work. Darn. Okay. Um, I mean, I guess I could just do. I could go to town with some bracket, some brace pieces. Maybe we'll just do that. Uh, not brace pieces, small bracket pieces. I think these are big as well, aren't they? Um, little birdies. Oh, that might work. Oh, can you not? I thought you could recolor these. Surely. Oh, what? I thought I literally used these the other day and recolored them. Still might work, to be fair. Do it kind of like that. is so itchy tonight. I don't know why. Is that is that like a thing? Is that like an old lady thing? Like a not an old lady thing. Like an old wives' tale. Is there a thing about your nose itching? Is it your is it your is it your ears? If your ears are itching, that someone's talking about you, something like that. Am I going mad? Maybe. Um, right, so. It means I'm due for a surprise. Does it? That'd be good, wouldn't it? Maybe I should do. Maybe I should do lottery this week. There's a burn, and then someone is talking about you. If you've got an itch, you know it's a sign of a row, that you're going to have a row with someone. Show in bed for me, enjoy this, and we'll catch the rest tomorrow. Thanks for the stream. Cheers, Daniel! Mystery stream. Don't be falling out of yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Stay one to have a row with. It's just me. Billy No Mates. No, that's not true. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Right, let's just make this a little bit less. Same, same. In fact, let's not do that yet. Okay, so. I'm still not sure that emissive glass thing is going to work. I think it's not. Poo! I mean, my tower works, but the emissive glass bit doesn't. Crap, crap, crap. Dang and blast it. Okay. So how does one achieve what I want to achieve? Ever heard of if you drop a knife, a man is coming? Crikey, no, I've not heard that one before. What, what, the man? Or a man? The man is coming, as in the, the man. Stick it to the man, or as in just a man. That's it. Because sometimes a man coming is like, yeah, Deliveroo guy or Amazon or someone like that. <laughs> it just made a man. 
or you're about to give birth to a man. But a man is coming. Man, just say something. Just something my mum used to say. I've never heard that one before. Um, see, I guess we could do this, but it's still going to have the same problem, though, isn't it? That some bit of it's going to be sticking out. Itchy palms. Is money left to lose, right to gain? Wow, never heard any of these. So I think at no point am I going to be able to hide the side bits, but let's just have a look. Let's just do this for a sec. So that's not too bad. Does it copy round? Yeah, that's not that's all right so if I put a light in it then that would give us our the top of a tower itchy feet is strange ground <laughs> itchy feet means you're walking on ants you've walked into a pepper farm Do, 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 do. <clears throat> oh dear. Um, right. So, do, do. I'm not sure if I want to do that actually, I think that's wrong. So that would give me a tower so basically continue that down the side copy it all round you get a tower but I'm not sure I want to do that let's have a wee lucky
All right, let's just check for a second. I've gone a bit off pace from the picture as well. I'm aware of this. Could do that. I think we will. So let's get the size of this. Could just like hold on. Right, let's have a look. So if it was like, I mean, it's way different to what I've got in the in the picture there, but something like that, and then there's a like a dormer there. Do 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 do. Right, take it all back away again. And what have I used for this? Oh, right, it's that way. So it is that piece. I've done it kind of like it's a like a weatherboard sort of thing. that Everything would help. Just 
still missed one. Okay, so a lot of this tower is going to get dis dis uh, deleted, but I think what we'll do is just so we've got it in case we want to include it somewhere else. The second one will just make it as a full thing. Let's not do that yet. Okay, right. Mm -mm -mm. Had, had this things as teenagers to find out if you would get a boyfriend you should eat a boiled egg covered in salt just before bed you wake up in the middle of the night for a drink you would get a boyfriend oh that is so sweet <laughs> that's very sweet I wonder where that came from quite cute though It's like a rocket. <laughs> it's like a rocket ship. Brilliant! Made a rocket ship. Alright, oh, he's getting rid of get get rid of all these mud pillars in here. All but one. An ovener. How rude. Not too many pieces in there. Totally worth it though. Right, so we can delete a whole bunch of this now because we don't need a load of it. So let's just go in here. Select that. Get rid of that. I oh, don't want to let me get rid of it. Oh well. What is wrong with you tonight? <laughs> Leave her be. Stop, stop winding her up. Golden Bennett. <laughs> Feel like you came into the stream looking for a ruck. Couldn't go back over witticism quick enough. <laughs> Hey Asta, how you doing? Do 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 do. I wonder what my pace count's at so far. Total pace count. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yeah, I know. I'm sure she does. Just got to be a little bit careful because anybody else coming in obviously doesn't know that you know each other. So. But yeah. Uh, we're kind of making a like a spoopy spoopy thing sort of it's a bit weird so far but it's coming um what are we up to yeah we're two hours 50 it's not gonna do too much more so we're trying to make we're kind of trying to loosely make this thing that's up in the top right corner but just as like an inspiration but uh so we have to see the tower. Should really have just kept a section of this row. No, just kind of a well. To be to be honest, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to get my. Oh, I did crypt keep a section of it. I'm trying to get my architectural skills a bit better. So it's not going to. It's definitely a standalone thing. This one. Um, but the things I'm kind of reminding myself how to do are something that I'll probably end up using in a in a build in a zoo. But yeah, no, this is just going to be a standalone thing. I think probably just today and Saturday, or whenever I said I was streaming next. So this tower, yeah, has got another. Gonna have another custom roof on it. Oh god. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So yeah, it was just a, it was just a kind of a, a you know a silly silly thing for today that I thought we'd mess about with. Well, a silly thing for this week. Really like the wall texture thanks about a million pieces but <laughs> just of just of over a million pieces it's not quiet but i need to do that i need to do the ridge beams as well it's starting to chug a little bit it's funny the way planet zoo works so i think planet zoo does a really good job of like resource management and things so it doesn't get it doesn't get too weighed down with lots of pieces but if you have lots of pieces all together in the same area like right on top of each other like this it does start to get a bit chuggy be handy if you could create something out of lots of pieces and then merge them into a single object to the object that the game would treat as one piece we kind of can like a blueprint right the blueprint system's pretty good let's find the the um the habitat one is a bit difficult because the, the gate is always a bit of a pain to place but up from that, I think it's, yeah, generally speaking, it's pretty good. Hey, Wes. 
Right, so what's that like scaling wise? Not too bad. So have I kept a bit of did kept a bit of that roof. What we're we building, we're just kind of building like a little spooky house thing. Sort of this thing up in the top right, but that's kind of just inspiration. It's not really actually what I'm building now. For, for no real reason, to be honest, dude. Just I felt like doing it. And it's the time of spoopies. It's the spoopy, spoopy season, right? So that's actually much further down. It's more like, well, no, it's not really, is it? It's kind of there, and then it's got bits coming down like a dormer. Is that actually even in? Is that at right angles? That gap there. Yeah, they're pretty good. Okay, and then that can be, it comes to kind of there. <clears throat> Admit, I know very little about Planet Zoo. I keep trying to play, but it hasn't clicked for me. Just the mechanics are stumping me, I think. I need more practice. It definitely has. Yeah, I definitely would say that Planet Zoo has um, quite, it takes you, definitely takes you a while. Um, like a lot of what I'm doing here is just like this is like all that tower thing is all just stuff that you know I've watched other people do and then learned how to do so there is an element of just getting used to how the, all, like the building works really reminds me of the haunted house on the animated cartoon tales from the crypt keeper now that's a good shout yeah hey vinewood how you doing that's a good one. I was looking at. I was. I don't know what this one is, but it's. It's. Um, uh, actually, I think it. I think this house has got something to do with Lilo and Stitch, if I remember rightly, when I was Googleage. There is definitely a steep learning curve. One hundred percent. Um. But if you can get through that, uh, yeah, the 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 freedom it's the it's the kind of the yeah the double edged sword of what you get with this sort of game is the more the more freedom you've got, the more options you've got for you know, creative freedom and that sort of stuff. That the more complicated it just kind of has to be. Um. So if you can get past that learning curve, it's definitely worth it. For me, it's the the best um, building game I've ever come across. Just like, you know, you're only really ever limited by your imagination in this game. building wise there's some stuff that's you no know, there's some stuff that's annoying and there's some stuff that doesn't you know is kind of wish you kind of wish would work better but broadly speaking it's you know the the best building thing i've ever come across the best kind of just like sandboxy building tool because you just got no you just got like you know every degree of I mean, I'm using, you know, this is, the, these are roof tiles that I've made out of what's supposed to be a little brace piece. And, the, you know, the thing is, what they do really well is they know that this is how people play their game. So, to an extent, they, they make sure that all of these pieces have got 
good um you know good textures on every side because they know that people are going to use them in all sorts of different ways I really love it when people admit that it takes time to learn this this amazing build. It really does. It really does. Hey Jay Raffi, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, I've I think I've still got my first build videos up on the channel. They were terrible. <laughs> they were really terrible, and I had never really played Planet Coaster. So, if you played Planet Coaster before play Planet Zoo you were much more used to the like the gizmo and everything uh the 3d controller and all that sort of stuff that's the the thing that takes the most practice but you know i don't you get to a point i mean i guess you get to a point like this with most games but you like i don't i'm not really thinking so i've got i've got a couple of things bound to my mouse um, I'm trying to think what it is now. So that I've got on another mouse button, um, and my fingers are really, yeah, I don't even really think. And it's it's really difficult to, if like half the time, if someone says to you, like, what button does that? It takes me, a, it takes you a minute because it's just like muscle memory, isn't it? After a while, but once you get to that, and I, it took me a long time to get to that stage, definitely. This needs to just like not be under the tiles. It needs to sit on top of the tiles. And then yeah, some of some of the things are just learning the tech like the techniques. <clears throat> Get that, that's one reason I want to learn it, to be able to have that flexibility in building. I definitely know it's not me taking the time to learn. Not. I definitely know it's me not taking the time to learn, not anything at fault in the game. Yeah. It's if you, it's if, yeah, it's if you can, if you can kind of get through that, that hump with it obviously you don't you know you don't start with stuff that's like custom rooms and things you start from something relatively simple lots of people say as well and i'm not really sure i 100 percent adhere to this but um people often say grab some stuff off the workshop and try and work out how it's been put together but i always think when you look at stuff that's been put together on the workshop it looks way more complicated than it actually is. Like if you just kind of looked at this, right? You'd think I placed every tile. You'd think I placed every tile on every one of these beams. Well, I haven't. I've used the tricks that the game gives you. Speaking of Planet Coaster, I would think this would be a cool dark ride. Yeah. But yeah, not having not having the grid is the is just the massive the massive thing that's like planet the planet games give you give you like the tools to just kind of run away with things. And as I said at the beginning, I don't I'm 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 not this is the sort of thing I'm not super confident in building, which is why I'm building it. Uh a lot of my a lot of my architecture I, th I, I, th I personally think my architecture is the weakest point of what I do I think what I'm quite good at is observing how stuff looks like realistically and then and then just and having ideas that's I think the thing that I'm good at I don't think I'm that good at because a lot of this is you have to kind of remember the techniques of how to do things but Yeah, and and the thing is, it it doesn't tell you the whole story really of how stuff is put together because, as I said, if you looked at this, so yeah, you know, I wouldn't upload that. So look, so I basically this is how I made this, this whole roof section. I made this 
first little roof piece and it's that that I've then copied round basically so that you know that gives me effectively gives me my my roof with a bit of jiggery pokery for the next bit but if you just looked at on the workshop you wouldn't see that I had this bit kind of sitting there so you would just see the you know all of the bajillion pieces and be like oh my god they literally spent all that time putting this down I wish you could toggle the grid on and off for all scenery pieces yeah a la prehistoric kingdom that's one of the things I'm really looking forward to in that right so what should be joining these puppies together we still need that but we're gonna just stick it under the ground Let's get all of that. Uh, so let's get rid of that other piece there. Is that right? Yeah. I do you really like the realism in your work? It looks great. I love the effort and time you take to make things look real. It just it I like. I just kind of enjoy it. I mean, it's the, it's the, I always think it's the like, it sounds a bit naff, but it's basically the like doll's house factor. Effectively, really, what you're, what you're doing is playing with a, like a digital doll's house and, and I do, I think I put stuff in my builds that I just, you know, I'm, I'm, it's fun for me to, to do that, like to have, I don't necessarily, although some, yeah, sometimes, sometimes I do stuff that deliberately, yeah, it's like having the wonky tile and the discolored tiles and all those sorts of things. Yeah, they help just to make things look more realistic. It's also sometimes just like seeing if you can do something as well that's kind of quite fun. I think the biggest thing that I learned with this game is just to like it's just to get on with it and not not to, to not worry like just to keep keep going I think that's like a thing that I do in House Ripper for example as well that like like when you start off except that it's going to look rubbish for a while but if you've got like a picture in your head or something you're actually kind of using as inspiration the more you add to it the better it's going to look and stuff like you know in planet zoo it's often that things don't really look right until you add the foliage <laughs> why don't you put some bushes in there then it's suddenly all just kind of like whoosh it all comes together and starts to feel real Just came across his Tivoli Zoo and honestly building. Tivoli Zoo isn't me. Tivoli Zoo is um, uh, Ruble Trillions. Ruble Trillions is amazing. I think maybe you already said that, but I missed it. Do, 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 do. I think my biggest learning point is that you can always go back later and redo things. Yeah, exactly. So just start and have fun. Exactly. I talk about it quite a lot in my videos that like it's that nothing I really ever build is ever done on the first hit. It always gets. And in fact, actually, a lot of the f little details that I add in the videos or that you've seen me add in a build or something are things that I've kind of gone like I've, I've just come across later as like an idea and sometimes actually what I quite often do a little trick that I quite often do in the videos is that you'll it will look in the video like I've built all of that stuff at the same time um like I've done a whole 
I don't know, like I've done all the interior of a building at the same time. Uh, but usually that's not really how I work. I, I tend to just be... I just tend to like gravitate to wherever the idea is at the time. Or like if something's sort of taking my fancy, then I'll just focus on that. Um, and then add... And it'll be like loads and loads and loads of little iterations loads of little improvements and it's only then when i then cut it all together that I, I make it you know every time i add a little change to that particular piece i just bring all that together on the edit and it looks like i worked all on it all, all on the same time but sometimes it's you know like sometimes it's like days between iterations or versions of something because it's difficult i mean that's one of the things I, I have to say i've always i have always kind of struck i've got i think i've got more confident at it um oh this is terrible what is what is that garbage <laughs> let's just use a different piece um i've definitely got better at the streams because i used to get really like I used to get really nervous, not in the not in the like actual stream, but I but but in kind of like well, thinking I was going to be able to make something cool, and sometimes it's just not there, right? Sometimes it's just kind of not. And and if you're working on one thing, you know, say you set off to you set out to work on a, I don't know, a lion habitat or something, and halfway through you doing that, you just like. I'm not really feeling this at all. What do you do? You can't just, you can't just, you can't really just kind of dump. You can't really just go, oh, I can't be bothered. Let's play some COD or something. You've got, <laughs> um, but that's the thing. You lose that in a stream. You lose that option to kind of iterate. Because when I'm actually, when I'm recording, I'm quite often just like, you know, I'll play for a bit, then I'll, go off and wander around and do something or go for a walk or something or, or like the next day comes and I'm I've gone back and I'm doing something different is there a bigger is there a thicker one of these what are your building aspirations is there anything you would really like to do one day um i've got ideas there's there's i've got i've always got loads of ideas um about stuff i could make or stuff i'd like to do uh like we've kind of like we're doing one right now really is like I, my i was asked i'm aspiring to be a better builder of architecture um and that's kind of really the reason why why i'm doing this can't get this right i feel like one of these is at a different angle but they shouldn't be i mean i guess one of my aspirations is to finish a zoo <laughs> i think most people that play planet zoo would say that to actually get one finished would be pretty cool that's better. I've got loads of ideas in terms of things that I would do. Um, you know, things that I'd quite like to build, but not 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 like no, not not really kind of major things that pop to mind. I don't really things. I don't really kind of. I'm definitely not a planner. Some people are really big planners in the game. I'm not a planner at all. I kind of just get on with it and then see how I see how I feel. And I tend to just everything. It tends to be quite organic. Ba, 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 ba. Wow, that's a lot of pieces. All of that just to, you know, to select that. Oh, come on. 
I've got to do it again now. I just I just removed them. Why are they still not in the Maybe I didn't actually press it. Split. Cool. I've got to do it again now as well. But yeah, that was, I think that was probably my biggest, the biggest thing that I learned playing this game was just to, just to crack on with it really. And that the more layers you add, the better it looks. That was always my thing. That's pretty much my thing in, in most, anything that I'm building is always just like the more you, the more you do. To a point, there's obviously a point at which you kind of need to stop, but. Do, 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 do. So what did I use there? Wooden beam square painted something. Wooden beam. Oh, okay. Can we just actually. Take that off of there. Can you imagine, can you give us any hints about the next Tigwider episode? I don't actually know, Lindsay, to be honest. I don't actually know. Haven't done it. I'm not really sure. I've got, a, I've got like a, I've got a general overall idea for where it's heading. But, uh, not, not the next episode. That's why there's no episode this weekend is because... I haven't got one. I just haven't got the. I haven't got the juju at the moment with it. But it'll yeah, it'll come back because I yeah, you know, I'm really enjoying that project. But it's um right now it's. I've got I've got sort of probably about four or five different things that I'm playing around with that could be next. The trouble, the, the, the challenge with that zoo is that it's small uh, and everything is, I haven't got, I kind of haven't got the luxury of just uh, sort of, am I even keeping that? Or is that going? I think that's actually going. Maybe we actually just pop one of those or two of those here. Like I know what's happening. I know the, I know like where a few animals are going. Um, and I think I said this the other day, but like, there's not going to be a moose habitat or a beaver habitat in the immediate. Do, 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 do. So none of that needs to be here. Uh, no, hello. Do 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 do. What's going on there? Oh, no. A little little janky corner back here. Uh, 
<laughs> but I think we're probably, I mean, I don't know what we're 12 episodes into Tiggle do. I reckon we're probably, maybe we're halfway through it. Because there's a few, there's a few slightly, there's definitely a few slightly bigger. So you're not going to, you're not going to suddenly see, um, you know, not going to suddenly see elephants and lions and stuff there. Just don't think it would make sense. Uh, but as for specifics, I mean, it's going to stay pretty, you know, it's supposed to be pretty sort of low, low budget. Uh, I'm considering... Well, I'm not going to tell you, but yeah, but there's not there's not going to be any lions and tigers and elephants. That's just not a big enough space for that. And it just doesn't make it just sort of doesn't make sense, really. But we'll go back to Zimba at some point as well, because I was really enjoying that one. We'll go back and work on that. I think that might be. I did originally start that project because it was kind of giving me a a good place to go when I've got sort of a bit of burnout going on because I found that before that if you get if you get kind of burnout with one project it's good to have somewhere that you can just kind of redirect for a minute if, if it's something that just like it's going to be like my favorite TV show and it goes to an end going to have to watch all the previous episodes again before watching the last one <laughs> Oh, bless you. Yeah, it's come together nicely actually because it's 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 I kind of like the vibe that it's got now as well. I quite like the vibe, you know, how the episodes are coming together. You've got to be kind of pleased with it and stuff as well. I think you got I think it's important that you, you know, if you're working a lot on something that you've got to really enjoy it and I think if you if you get to a point where you're just kind of like chuffing out the videos and you don't really want to play it and you don't really want to play that particular zoo then that all starts to come across and it start you start to feel that in the content and the builds and stuff but yeah there's loads of i mean there's actually there was a th i was playing around with an idea this week before i came across doing before i decided to end up doing this this is actually weirdly this is kind of for Tigwadu, not this actual building. But as I said, me kind of getting a bit more confident with doing architecture and stuff and doing something like totally custom made is really for Tigwadu for full three or four of the ideas that I've got. I watch through your place while I'm working they're really great thank you very much much appreciated did that actually save sometimes it feels like it does it so quickly okay just get nervous <laughs> get nervous Right, I think I think that's probably going to be it for tonight. I know it's not that super close to the thing that I'm up there in the corner I'm heading towards, but that was I think that was largely mostly just a kind of something to inspire me. 
actually you know what I might do just before I forget because I won't remember is to add I wanted to add get this right it's not right Thank you, Dennis. Good night, dude. Yeah, we're we're lucky in the community. It's got a lot of really good builders. I don't think I'm. I think there's. I think I have. I think I have things that I bring to the community. I think I have. Uh, stuff that I'm definitely good at I don't particularly think architecture is one of them go back and watch this from the beginning nice Yeah, that adds something, doesn't it? Just gives it a little bit of something. A little bit of something, something. There's always a space for a little bit more something, something. Yeah, so I'll do that on the other bridges. Uh, so when am I next stream? When did I say I was next stream with this again? I'm getting all a bit confused because I've changed my schedule up this week. Did I say Saturday? Yes. So Saturday at four, I'll be streaming this again. <clears throat> yeah, it is the little details. It's all about the little details. And we're actually getting to the stage where we'll probably start doing more of the detailing. Hopefully in our next one, we'll start to add some more decorative things and some of the, that will hopefully start to bring it together. This is mostly kind of structural, I think, so far. So I really appreciate how calm you are. I can't watch people who talk a mile a minute. So thank you for that. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, there's a few people like that. Estan, Estan Wolf as well is like that a lot. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Much appreciated. If you're watching this after the fact. Oh, thank you, Lindsay. You're, you're a ledge. Uh, then please don't forget to like and stuff. It always helps out. Yeah, and hopefully I'll catch some of you guys on the next one on, on Saturday. Yeah, because no, no video this week. Take it easy, peeps. Have a good rest of your day, evening, night, lunch, supper, <laughs> etc. Take it easy. <laughs>